Hi amigos and welcome back to Beyond the Cookbook. Today I'm bringing you my version of fish tacos. And let's start with our coleslaw. That will be step number one. You will need one cup of cabbage, a quarter of a red onion, let's add some oregano, a teaspoon of oregano, salt and pepper to taste. Now you can add half a cup of white vinegar. Now we set that to the side. The ingredients we're going to be using today for a protein we have bassa. Uh, you could use tilapia or any kind of fish you like. That will be also great. We also have all-purpose flour. We're going to be using a pinch of salt and some pepper as well. So for our batter, we're also going to need a little bit of beer to make the consistency that we need. Okay, amigos, so let's start with the batter. So you have your one cup of all-purpose flour here. Let's add a teaspoon of salt. We're going to add a teaspoon of pepper as well. And yes, you don't have to use egg. Uh, some people call for egg, but I actually liked it better with beer. So we add our beer. Make sure you mix your batter until no crumbs are left, really vigorously. Our batter is nice and ready. Now we have to cut our fish into the right size. And in the meantime, I have my oil going, get it nice and hot for me. Amigos, if you can, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. I cut my fish and it's all ready to go into the batter. For our fish tacos today, I'm using about an inch of canola oil. I gotta make sure my oil is up to the right temperature. So I checked with an onion to make sure it's sizzling and it's ready for me. I'm covering my fish with a beer batter and I will place it in the skillet right away. Try not to add too many pieces of fish at once. I would say two or three per batch, it's a good amount. You will probably be able to get about 10 tacos per fish, so that's a pretty good amount. At this point, you will be able to hear a nice sizzle from that oil, and you'll see the beautiful golden color. My crispy fish is now going on top of a paper towel, so I can remove a little bit of the excess oil. I better keep frying this fish because I'm not going to be the only one eating this fish tacos tonight. We're going to have a nice fish taco fiesta. I really wish you could join us tonight. It's almost time to get ready for our fish taco fiesta time. But first we have to... Let's get our avocado crema ready. So I got about half a cup of sour cream. We're gonna need about one avocado or should be good. Okay. We need some lime as well. Lime is very important to make sure our avocado crema doesn't go dark on us. Okay, so we also need a bit of oregano, salt, and pepper. Okay, so let's blend it. Chipotle mayo ready.
we are ready to assemble our tacos. We got everything ready. We got our fish ready, tortillas are waiting for us, and our toppings are ready with our crema, with our chipotle mayo, and our coleslaw. Next step is to heat up your tortillas. Don't eat them cold. They're not good cold. <laughs> so my mom will heat them up on a skillet. And dad likes to heat them with direct fire. Now that your tortillas are nice and warm, get your fried fish. And we're gonna get ready to place our coleslaw on top. Get a nice generous amount. My chipotle mayo goes next. Avocado crema. And now I just need a little bit of cilantro. A nice splash of lime and you're all ready to go. You have to try these fish tacos. I recommend them 100%. So this is the end result. We got our fish tacos. As you can see, I use blue corn tortilla and I also use flour tortilla. This, I'm really excited actually to eat this. Hey amigos, if you like my mom's video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a nice day.